This is the Whistler Lodge Hostel, and at less than $50 a night, this is the cheapest place to stay in Whistler. And today, I'm gonna be showing you around where I'll be staying for my Whistler trip. But first, let's talk to someone who knows this place a lot better than I do. So yeah, my name is Carolina, and I work in the Whistler Lodge Hostel. The Whistler Lodge Hostel is located between Whistler Village and Creekside in the Nordic neighborhood, and only uh, 10 minute walking distance to Creekside Gondola and only a two minutes bike ride away to the Gondi. Um, we are perfect base for mountain adventures and we um, always strive to be like the best hostel in Whistler. <laughs> um, we offer plenty of storage room for people's gear for free, a free parking. We have um, big common areas that, um, especially for solo travelers, is amazing to meet like-minded people. Uh, people can prepare the, the dinners together. Often we have dinners together. Um, and yeah, good vibes, friendly people, and amazing facilities. Thank you, Caro. So, what was it like to stay at the hostel? Let's start with the rooms. I spent nine nights sleeping in one of the mixed dorms, and it was honestly a lot better than I expected. They've got a 24-7 quiet zone rule for all of the dorm areas, so it was always quiet throughout the night, and I never actually had a bad night's sleep. In your bunk, you've got a curtain, light, outlet, a small shelf, and a mirror that has some storage inside of it. They also provide sheets, a duvet, a pillow, and they also give you a towel. I personally felt safe keeping all of my stuff around my bed, on the shelf, and in the cubby that's outside of the bunk, but I'd probably recommend keeping all of your valuables in the massive lockers they provide upstairs. And on the topic of storage, yes, they provide a ton of space to keep your bike nice and safe. Overall, this felt like a really high quality experience. The kitchen is fully stocked with everything you need and each person even gets a bin outside the fridge and inside the fridge to store all your food organized by your bunk number. The big thing I noticed was that this felt a lot more immersive than just staying at a hotel. It actually felt like I was living in Whistler rather than just visiting Whistler. Choosing to stay at the Whistler Lodge Hostel was one of the best decisions I made before my trip. Looking back, if I was to do it again, I really couldn't imagine choosing to pay the huge price to stay at a hotel knowing that this amazing experience and this amazing community was waiting at the hostel. And something we haven't even talked about is that if you want to stay here, this starts from $50 a night. Now obviously the price changes on depending on the time of year and whether it's peak tourist season, but it's still always going to be so significantly less than staying at a hotel, that it's really hard to justify staying at a hotel. Yes, you lose a bit of privacy, you lose a bit of luxury, but you get to really meet a lot of amazing people and you get to really be immersed in the nature and in the environment and in the Whistler vibe and you get to really feel like you're on an adventure and that you're really on an exploration. And that added so much to my trip that I can't imagine staying at a hotel if I go to Whistler again. There really is too much to cover about this hostel in one video, so if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for the Whistler Lodge Hostel for hosting me. It was such a blast and their links will be down below. I cannot endorse this place enough. It really was an amazing experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. See ya!